interesting choice of a hat, Greta. Hi, Dr. Shafali. Hi, what are you up to? What's your question? I have a question about goals and living in the present moment. So mm -hmm. you teach us in your courses to really anchor ourselves in the present moment. And I'm curious, how does one do that yet still have goals? Oh, great question, you gold digger. Um, so this is my answer in a, in a quick and succinct way. We must ground our entire life in the awareness of what's occurring in the now. And from the now, through the examination of who we are now, build up. And then, yes, you can have a goal. Why I say it needs to all be rooted in the now is because the context we're in is extremely important to create the next context. And if right now, for example, we are in a context of great inner upheaval and being uprooted and being anxious, then we cannot ask for a goal of liberation or abundance. We need to first take care of what's happening right now or say we are in a home that is falling apart and the physical structure is in shambles. Then the goal cannot be doing a PhD at the same time. We need to first clean up this context. So I always say begin in the now, examine where we are in our internal energy and state of being, try to align as much in the now to a state of gratitude, abundance, receptivity, openness and curiosity, work on the kinks that are showing up in the now, and then, of course, set goals. But don't set goals willy-nilly. They need to be organic to who it is you truly are. And when you align with who you truly are, there's no question that that goal will be achieved because it's the natural and inevitable expression of who it is you are. That's why I always say start with who you are, where you are, the context you're in, in the now, and then build into the alignment of where you wish to be in the future.